Of course, on Sundays, we have our regular feature called Dempsey's Dugout. And this week, Rick catches up with Mike Bordick, and they talk a little bit about how Bobby Dickerson teaches how to field ground balls in the Orioles' infield. Some of the drills that he's doing, he really likes to have a third base and work back on a ball. Many in middle infielders especially, their pursuit angles are going straight forward or at angles to cut off the ball and That's be different aggressive from what to they the used target. To teach. Exactly. So they want the third baseman. The balls are hit hard. If the ball isn't bouncing above their head, to start thinking about a drop step back to create an angle on the ball. So you're going to see a lot of the good third baseman. Ball is hit, it's below their head level. They're going to drop back and try to get their eyes behind the baseball. Glove out in front so they can see it. It's all about just creating angles. You'll see a lot of third basemen at times try to slide over and block that ball. Yeah. They catch it off the hip, they catch it off the glove, and it kicks out into left field, both to the left or the right. Bobby Dickerson's really stressing the importance of creating quick angles, typically deep drop steps. So if it's down the line, really deep with the back leg and getting low and behind the baseball, really to see it well. These guys are great athletes. They know how to use their feet. And that's what you're going to have to watch these guys continue to do to have that consistency like Manny Machado was doing so well. Maybe what would be a good idea if I just threw you a couple of balls, maybe to your right and to your left, and you kind of show exactly what it's going to look like the moment of ball contact glove. Sure. Okay, here comes the ball here to the... You want to keep your head? You want to try to keep your eyes behind the baseball, and the way to do that is track it with that back foot. So ideally, the back foot is going to be in line with the baseball, and that gets you get your head in a good position and your glove out in front. A lot of times, if you're a little lazy on a drop step, your glove will be behind your eyes, and that's when you see him tip off the glove, kick out in the outfield. So ideally, the best position, you know from catching, you want to see the ball, you right. see it better when you your eyes be are behind right the behind ball. you got to be right behind it. You're exactly yeah. right. Yeah. All right, one more to your right over here, Mike. Okay. Now one to your right. That was just a real good play. Sometimes you just have to be a good athlete. <laughs> All right. Listening to Brooks Robinson, who was the greatest third baseman of all time, and he played here, he always talked about keeping your glove down low. I've even heard you talk about keep your glove down low because it's always easier to come up on the ball. Where does the theory change now between what we're trying to teach him here now? And they've been very good, don't get me wrong, but as to what used to, used to be the theory. That theory doesn't change. It's much easier to come up on a ball than go back down, especially at third base. I mean, you're getting some hot shots down there on the corner. So you ideally would like to position your glove low and travel with it low. So if there is a drop step, you just take it to this position. If your glove's up too high and all of a sudden that ball kicks down low, many times it just shoots by and out into the outfield. So that theory holds true at any position. Better to keep the glove down, easier to come up on a ball than it is from the glove to start high and go down.